our planet is a beautiful place, but global warming is a silent killer. James Cook, a Palo Alto resident, works with solar energy, and he has some ideas about why it's so important in the fight to end climate change in our community and in the world. I'm a solar power plant developer, so we build large-scale solar power plants that are like massive solar arrays. James and his team work on these solar arrays to improve the planet's health. So it's really great because what it does is allow you to produce electricity without causing any emissions. And so the problem with climate change is too much carbon emissions, and by doing solar you don't have to have any emissions. It's easy to forget about climate change and these carbon emissions when the world seems normal and you don't notice any differences. But the truth is, now we're starting to see the effects that climate change is taking a toll on our planet. And James has some to explain about how that affects Palo Alto. I think anyone who's, uh, who goes to school at Pali knows what it's like for climate change because they saw how weird the weather was a few weeks ago on that Wednesday where it was all orange and dark. Um, so to me, that's like the sign of what's happening with climate change. You get um, more fires, less rain, uh, hotter temperatures, and all that leads to you know bad things for all of us. Part of what that's caused by is by having so much carbon emissions. And so by, by producing electricity through solar panels, we reduce the amount of carbon that will be in the air. What are people in the solar industry, such as James Cook, doing to fight the fossil fuel emissions, you might ask? Developing solar power plants, it's really a great way to fight climate change in a really big way. When we build a solar uh, facility, the size of the arrays are about as big as the entire Stanford campus. So imagine going from Page Mill Road to Sand Hill Road. If you covered all of that in solar panels, that's about what the power plants is that we create each year. It can be a great thing for the economy. So think about like the business that I work at, Candela Renewables. Um, we've been able to make money adopting more solar, putting more solar panels out in different parts of the country. There's a lot of jobs in the solar industry. There's a lot of jobs in, in the auto industry, especially now with putting in electric cars, like with Tesla. And people start to see the economic benefits of doing things to fight climate change. I think that also might drive them to take more action. Palo Alto happens to do a good job on reducing the carbon emissions in our community. Here are a few ways how. Yeah, so Palo Alto does a great job on energy and clean energy. So there's two things, there's two main things. Um, one is the electricity that we, we buy from uh, the grid that Palo Alto uses in our, in our houses. The city of Palo Alto decided a few years ago to only do solar and wind or other carbon-free sources of electricity. So that's a fantastic change for all of us just during your lifetime. And the second thing is some people have uh, put solar panels on their roof. And so if you have that, if you have a roof that doesn't have a lot of trees in front of it, or if you, you, know, if you own your own house, uh, you can choose to put solar on your house. And so that's a really great way to get uh, cleaner energy. And the city is very supportive of that as well. So those are the two main ways that the city has done a great job in doing more for renewable energy than just about any place in the world. According to James, solar energy has decreased exponentially in price. So when you guys were in kindergarten, the uh, solar was the most expensive form of electricity. Now solar electricity is the cheapest form of electricity in California. And so the difference has gone from, you know, what it was it used to be and to about one-tenth of what it used to be when you guys were kids. In 2011, fossil fuels supplied 82% of the world's energy. In 2020, it has increased to 84%. If we continue at this rate, there will be consequences. So um, the problem is that you've got a lot of existing old power plants that are up and running that people don't want to shut down. And from a coal plant can cause asthma or other breathing problems for kids. And so I think there's a lot of things that we can do about getting rid of the old power plants and maybe um, getting rid of them sooner rather than later and replacing them with uh, wind and solar. Climate change might be scary, but the only way to face it is not to run, but to fight. Worse hurricanes, worse fires, hot, hotter temperatures, all that stuff is very obvious. We, we all need to 
take action. Planting trees, eating more vegetables, driving less or driving uh, a, a clean vehicle or using clean energy. Just pick out a few of those and start doing them and you'll, and you'll feel better and you'll be fighting climate change because we really do need to do something now. And if we all do that, if we take that approach of taking action, then I think we can fight climate change. Thank you. I'm Ellie Roth with InFocus.